Welcome back to Hard Rock MMA 101. First event in the state of Ohio. All of the 100 previous events have been held in the state of Kentucky. So Hard Rock MMA expanding, growing. Ready for fight number four. Which will be a 170 pound amateur bout between Rick Roseberry and David Schwab. We now have David Schwab coming to the cage. David will be fighting out of the blue corner. Trains at Vision MMA in Dayton. Chung's Academy of Martial Arts in Springboro, Ohio. And Broken Rhythm Martial Arts. Also Fight Science, Dayton has been competing since age eight. He's two and one. Schwab says he started Taekwondo when he was three. Judo and Muay Thai at age six and Hapkido at eight. It's a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo and a first brown in Judo. We have three three-minute rounds ahead of us. Once again, Ricky Roseberry fighting out of the red corner from Team OTG, and David Schwab from Vision Dayton out of the blue corner. Schwab comes out with a big lead kick. Yeah, Schwab, a very unorthodox fighter, especially with the striking. He's a background in Taekwondo. Yeah, fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo actually is. Roseberry here looking for the takedown. Out of West Virginia, fighting for the first time here in Ohio is Roseberry. Trying to get on top. Schwab trying to get his make his way to the cage here. Try to wall walk. Get back to his feet. Roseberry on the back has both hooks in as Schwab tries to shake him off. We saw Schwab in his last fight against Trent Knott really uh, show that he has some work, to, some room to improve on the grappling realm. Roseberry here has the back looking for the choke. Going to have to get that left arm out if he wants to finish this. Roseberry has one hook in. Looks like he's working to get the other hook in, David. Yeah, Schwab doing a good job of uh, just trying to scramble here mostly. Roseberry appears to have lost the back. 
maybe transition to a triangle here from this position. Kind of a tough situation here. Doesn't really appear to have anything from this specific position. Schwab now on top. Roseberry has control of that neck, but not going to finish it with Schwab in half guard. Schwab is looking to better his position from the top into the mount. Almost full mount. Now he's, full, now he's mounted. Roseberry trying to control the posture here. Schwab That's is high. 15 seconds left. Schwab grabbing the cage. As he was trying to tee off there. A couple big shots here. Good finish there to that first round by David Schwab. In the eyes of the judges, when you end a round like that, you think it impacts the, the judges' scorecards? Yeah, I mean, it was, pretty, it was pretty even up until then. Uh, you know, Roseberry had control of the, the grappling just slightly, but uh, good job by Schwab. Able to posture up and land some big shots there in the last 10 or 15 seconds up against the cage. Got Joe Miller in the corner of David Schwab. I'm sure all these Dayton guys excited to finally get a Hard Rock MMA event in their backyard in Ohio, not have to go down to Kentucky to fight. I believe all three of Schwab's fights so far have been for Hard Rock MMA. Sitting at two and one, had a difficult opponent in his last fight. We saw, I believe that was at, was it at Hard Rock MMA 100? No, I believe it was at 99, but a tough fight against Trent Knott. Yeah, Trent Knott, who also did fight at 100, is a, a tough guy out of Lexington, four seasons. Yeah, Knott, you know, a lot of people underrated him because he came in and lost his first fight, but he's a really tough, tough guy. Roseberry with the left. Roseberry showing some head movement from that southpaw stance. Roseberry does have one win via TKO. Second one was via decision. First fight in, in over two years. Inside leg kick from David Schwab. See a lot more striking here in round number two. Nice knee there from Schwab up against the cage. The corner of Ricky Roseberry instructing him to switch to a single leg, get this fight to the ground. See a big welt on the right leg there of Ricky Roseberry. Does finally finish that single leg. Can Roseberry capitalize from somewhat of a top position? Now has his back again. Needs to get his hooks in. He's just trying to climb the back here of David Schwab. Really high on the back without the hooks. Now has both hooks in. His corner telling him exactly that. He's too high. On the back. 
need to get that right hook in first. And then instead of trying to climb Not sure what happened. Not sure what happened. There was maybe a unintentional foul or something, but uh, Jerry Poe starting them again on their feet. Nice front kick there from Schwab. Schwab, the one thing that I would probably fix immediately, and I'm not a coach, but he stands straight up. and For Schwab? Yeah. And that leads to a lot of things that, you know, ends up getting taken down. Good job by Schwab, though. Gets taken down. A nice sweep ends up on top. Gets a nice ovation from the hometown crowd here. Looks like Roseberry has a half guard, working on a, a half guard. Yeah, he's trying to get that guard back, trying to shrimp back in there. He needs to get that left leg through. And does finally get the guard, full guard back just before the end of the round. there for David Schwab. You hear the corner of Ricky Roseberry telling him, you're both tired. You need one shot to knock this guy out. Yeah, going into the third round, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that they're both going to be tired here. And that's, uh, you know, usually a dangerous part of the fight for a lot of guys. Neither one of these guys won a loss on their record. Roseberry wants to stay undefeated. Schwab wants to come back from that loss in his last fight. And, you know, as an amateur these days, you get up to three wins, four wins. Uh, you you got to start, you're almost starting to think title. It will be interesting to see the integration of the uh, Ohio fighters into the Hard Rock promotion. Uh, as you as you talk about David with the title shots, yeah, and you'd seen you know starting a trickle of some of the guys, you know the Vision guys from Dayton and Cincinnati, Walker MMA, uh, but you've got some guys from Fightopia hey, here on the no card. To move. Hey, hey, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Couple Columbus pull guys. In. There you go, Jeff, that leg. Keep walking around, walk around, walk around, walk around. Keep standing up, just get your head up. Roseberry trying to finish this takedown here up against the cage. You can see the welt on Roseberry's right leg. Yeah, and that was from those kicks in that first round by Schwab. Schwab using some creative approaches to regaining a, what is a half guard right now, low half guard. Nice sweep there from Schwab, but Roseberry has control of his neck. Just over two minutes left in the fight. Put his forehead on the mat. Put his forehead on the mat. Ricky, put his forehead on the mat. Break his grip. Break his grip. Hey, push your hips. Push your hips to the side. Kick one leg out. Hey, push his head to the ground. Push your stomach on the ground. Push his head down. Break his grip. Push his side. Get Schwab that leg looking out. to try to finish this takedown here. Kind of a stalemate position between the two fighters. Just about a minute 30 left. Roseberry is on top. Can he capitalize from this top position? He needs to break that grip of David Schwab. Swing around to the back, maybe get the hooks in. Almost looks like he has a position here for a 10 finger guillotine as well. Needs to get that right arm through. Put his forehead on the mat. Put his forehead on the mat and extend your legs out. A minute left in the third round. Man, body hit. 
Push his head down. Push his head down. Make it uncomfortable. Hey, push your, put your hand on the back of his head and shove it into the mat. Shove it into the mat. Schwab's still looking shove here. To try to get this takedown. And this isn't a position where he can really give up and let go of that because then he ends up either getting his back taken or taken down or submitted. If Schwab were to adjust, Roseberry could possibly slide in maybe a Darsh. Yeah, you see some of the redness there on the ribs of David Schwab. And that is going to do it as we go to the judges' scorecards here for the second time tonight. Back and forth battle there. We'll see what the judges think. Our man David McKinney going to go into the cage and announce the winner. They're going through the process of collecting the judges' scorecards here at the Dayton Convention Center, Hard Rock MMA 101. First venture for the promotion into the state of Kentucky. I'm sorry, into the state of Ohio. All 100 previous events have been held in Kentucky. So moving north for Hard Rock MMA. Fourth fight of the night. David Schwab moving to three and one. Get to hear some words from the winner.